grilled chicken thighs. Hey, you know what? Let me kill that. You know what we're doing? We're doing an epic grilled chicken sandwich. Let's get it. All right, you guys, look. I'm starting out like what I just said right now. Listen, they skinless, listen, they boneless, skinless chicken thighs, right? I'm going to show you that. Look, I get all my ingredients. You want to get everything out because, listen, we're going to do a marinade. So I'm going to set this off to the side over here. But if I, if my memory serves me correct, anytime you get them already done like this, listen, it's going to be a, need to be a little trimming, right? So I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut some of this fat off of here. You know, get them to look nice. And you want to get rid of all of that kind of stuff. Any of this, this type of stuff like this, it kind of like burns, you know what I mean? Because we're going to be using high heat today. So I just sit it over here. I can deal with a little bit of that because we all know fat equals flavor, right? So let me go ahead and get these trimmed up and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. All right, so look, after getting that trimmed, right? Look, I'm going to use my sous chef. Look, this is called a zip quicker. If you guys don't have one of these, especially if you're cooking by yourself, obviously we can do everything, you know, like put the chicken in there, put our marinade and all of that. But listen, this right here makes your life just so much easier, right? So as you can see, I don't take all of that off because I want to keep a little bit of that flavor and it protects the meat, right? So I'm just going to put it in here. Once I get this loaded up, then we're going to go ahead and make the marinade. Now today, it's early in the morning for me. I'm going to be going, I'm going to be, uh, putting this in the refrigerator for about four hours. I guess in sometime around one o'clock, I'll go ahead and grill these. But you wanna talk about making an epic, you know, sandwich, this is gonna be the way to do it. All right, so now we are gonna make the marinade, right? Listen, everything that you see that you had already like measured out, this is really like a dump and go, right? So what I'm gonna do is just start with my, my infused olive oil, paprika, and now my secret ingredient, listen, this is the hickory balsamic. If you guys wanna know what it looks like, this is it right here. And again, I'm gonna say it again, because some of y'all gonna be like, what are you using, balsamic? Yeah, this is hickory flavor. If you don't have none of this right here, folks, these are level ups. I'll give you guys some options until you get some of this, do it. And now we're gonna go ahead and you know, get our garlic. Look, all I do is like smash them. You just open them up a little bit. This is a nice big one. Oh yeah. Boy, the aromatic that comes off of that once you smash it, it's lovely, folks. All right, so before I put that in there, I'm gonna drop my parsley, and then I want you guys to come on here and take a look at this. I want you to see the color. The sun is doing it so much justice. This is even before I go ahead and even, you know, whisk it up, but check that out right there. That's what you want. You can, uh, your mind should just give you, you know, like a visual and a mental taste. Look at the thickness. And honestly, folks, I don't put a lot of products on my uh, channel, but that hickory, all the branch and vine products are fire, but this is it right here. Now listen, if it get a little too thick, you see that right there? That might be just a little thick for me. I'm gonna go ahead and add myself just a little bit more olive oil into it. Then I give it, you know, just a pinch of salt, add some pepper, after that, then I go ahead and hit it with that garlic, that fresh, freshly smashed. Just give it a couple of swirls with this in here. Let everything marry, right? Then bring this back into play and now we pour. And then all you gotta do is just go ahead and close everything, right? So this is here. I can take out just a little bit of the air, you know? Go ahead and get it. Make sure you got it sealed because this next step, you'll be have this you know, marinade all over the place, right? So. Now just move it around like this. Make sure all of it gets coated. You want to look at it. You can see what's not has no, what doesn't have marinade on it. You know what I mean? We do it like this. Then we put it in the refrigerator. I'm gonna go about four to five hours. You know what I mean? Uh, that's good. Uh, overnight is best. But I'll see you guys in about four and a half hours. Okay, folks, so look, it's the next day, right? We marinated, check it out. We marinated overnight. I'm telling you, that's where you get your best result. But I want you guys to look at that color. When I pull these out of this Ziploc bag, I want you to take a look at that. Listen, that's that deep color, a lot of flavor. And then when you add that smoke and then grill it with just a little bit of char, that right there is fire. And then what you see right here, we are gonna put a little spicy mayo on it. And I'm finna go inside and bring some of that bacon jam. We finna make it over the top, folks. So let's go. All right, look, I'm gonna show you guys like a little bit of a trick right i'm gonna take some regular just cooking oil i add it onto this onto my paper towel right 
And then I go ahead and use my tongs and I take it and I rub them across my grates. When you do this, this keeps it from being, you know what I mean, it keeps it from sticking, folks. Okay, so now that everything is ready, if you guys pay attention down here on the bottom, look how I have it. Usually I'm using, using only one side of it, but I'm gonna use this side. It's a bigger, you know, surface, so I can get a lot more on there. And if you notice how I did it, I spread them out, right? So I just shake them like this and I just put them down. You hear that? That's it. These ain't gonna take long, folks. Okay, now that we got the chicken on, it's starting to grill. We want to keep up with it, right? But in between that, what I'm getting ready to do is just mix my, you know, make my uh, spicy mayo, right? So listen, all of my ingredients is always down in the description box below. Let's get this over here in here like this, right? Get yourself a whisk. Okay, after tasting that, I'm going to say it just needs a, probably just about that much which is really like just two small pinches, right? Now we go ahead and give it a mix. We taste it and we set this to the side, right? This right here is gonna be fire, folks. So now we're gonna go ahead and just look at these. Look, that's what you want. Just a little bit of that char. You can see they cooked all the way through. Look at this right here. I want you guys to really pay attention to that color though. Look at that right there. You tell me, you got to be hating if you don't want one of these on a sandwich. So those of you guys that are new, you know what I mean? Uh, I gotta show you this. Because some of y'all going to think it's crazy. This is not butter. I want you to pay attention. Look, this is mayo. I could have done it with the spicy mayo. You know what I mean? But no need because we're going to put a lot of that on top of there. Because I say when you're eating a burger or even having a dog, when you bite into it, it need to push some of your condiments out. You know what I mean? Some of y'all are probably saying, I ain't got to do that. If the food is good, yada, yada, yada. I didn't hurt it all. But when you eat here, I promise you, you won't have nothing else to say. Right? So... Just go ahead, hit it like that. We're gonna get these on the grill and I'm finna show you something. Mayo toasted to me is better than butter. Okay, so look, after all that eye candy, you see how it is. Listen, everything is just over the top. Trust me, folks. And then when you do it, come back, talk to me in the comment section below, right? So now it's, it's time to go ahead and get down, right? So I'm gonna start with my, for me, my spicy mayo, right? I like to just put a little bit of this down. Let me put this down. Whew. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add one, you know, like that. I don't know about y'all, but I'm gonna go ahead and put them all like that. You know, two of those work just fine, right? I don't know about y'all, but look, I love bread and butter pickles, folks. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put me some of these pickles on here like this. Now we're gonna grab this top bun. We're gonna come back to that spicy mayo. You take this and you just put this on the top like that. Now y'all look at that and you tell me, oh, AB, you doing this wrong. If you like what you've seen, talk to me down in the comment section below. And then once you make it, please come back and tell me what you think about the spicy mayo. Because a lot of people don't even know that you can even make it. We always just buy it. It's just like a few ingredients, put it together, put it in a mason jar, put it in your refrigerator, and go ahead and use it up. Hey, so that I don't over talk this, check it out. We finna go ahead and get some of this. Hey, you see this right here? Ooh wee. You see that right there? Cheers, y'all. I got to hurry up because I'm having a hard time keeping a certain person away from that one right there. Hey, so with that being said, listen, I ask you guys, please come back, tell me, talk to me down in that comment section below. Love to see what you guys think about this. I got it. You guys can look at the ingredients and you can tell what, what you think about it. But then after you do make it, listen, don't we got a holiday coming up this Monday? Hey, so with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I'm finna grab me another one and make that, and I'm out. Peace.